On Monday evening, it was a tough night for the Zips as they failed to Eastern Michigan 62-59. Now, Eastern Michigan jumped out to a fast starter as they were led by their wing, Jay Higgins, with 12 points in the first half. But the Zips did manage to hold a 32-31 lead at the break. But in the second half, Eastern Michigan jumped on Akron again and controlled the game for much of the period until Akron took a 55-54 lead with 2.14 remaining. After a timeout, Higgins hit his fifth three of the contest to give Eastern Michigan the lead for good. I had a chance to speak to their head coach, Charles Ramsey, as he describes the play. You know, Akron did a great job of rotating over, um, and it's something we call baseline drift where our driver basically jumps out of bounds and you look for the guy in the opposite corner. And because they helped so much, you know, in he was wide open and, and he, made the, he made the shot. And so, you know, it was a credit to the kids and their execution. In the waning seconds, Akron's Breckman Knight, who led the Zips with 13 points, had a chance to tie the contest, but his shot was off mark. Head coach Keith Danbrot talks about the missed opportunity. Every time we got close, we had bad discipline. Jimmy reached at midcourt, you know, just bad discipline. You, can, you can't keep sent Mike Bardo's holding in the post. You know, you just have to have discipline if you're going to win games, especially when you don't shoot it very well. You know, we just, we just lacked the discipline to win the game. Because you're going to have nights where you're not very good, but you have to be disciplined enough to win, and we just didn't, we just didn't do it tonight. With the loss, the Zips dropped to 15-7. They're now 5-3 in the MAC. Reporting from the University of Akron, I'm Dante Durham for Palestra.net, the College Network.